What's up everybody? It's your boy JR303 back at you with another video. Like always, before we get started, give us those thumbs up and subscribe. And join us on our other platforms with J at JR303 Official. We have a Rumble, Odyssey, and then we're going to be hopefully coming out with some new things. Some content because of YouTube and their all their crap that they do against us. You might see things cracked, beeped. I apologize for it, but it's their rules and they ding you for everything. So, as you've seen, this is a part of our 308 build slash assembly. Assembly build, we can call it. Um, I guess it's a big thing since we're assembling parts, although we're going to be doing some changes. Uh, we're going to get into so our 308 precision build. So we got in the lower, so we'll be unboxing that today. There's a couple things. One thing I noticed on this, I'll bring it up to you guys as we get into it. Like always, we'll go through what comes in the box. This is what came. it came like. Came with mag poles, PRS Gen 3 stock, uh, directions, instructions for installation, but it came already installed. This has a rifled, uh, a rifle tube they call it. Um, so it's like an A1, A2 tube, but they call it a rifle tube. If you guys can tell me what the difference is between that, uh, Aero Precision just calls it a rifle buffer tube. Uh, they don't call it the A1 or A2, but when I look it up, it says it's the same as an A1 or A2 buffer tube. So, like always, I'll show you guys. If you need any of this, this shows you for a carbine. Oh no, this is the rifle receiver. The other side was for the carbine. So if you ever want to change this out later, I guess you could run a carbine. So if you went with an upper, which is like uh, our carbine length or uh, mid-length gas system, you could run a carbine buffer tube on this and then you would just use this portion here instead of this one. This has a quick QD right there, as well as over here. It's on the other side. It comes with that MO, the MO. Um, grip. You guys probably already seen videos on these. As you can see, this pops off. You could throw some batteries. I'll be honest. I mean, these are nice, but I don't care for these grips. Just don't like the angle. We're gonna be doing something different. That'll be coming up in a later video. As you can see here, has adjustments, which is gonna be important for. You know adjustments and all that goes up and down same with the back show you guys oh all right it's going the wrong way you can see it opens up get the extension there's a strap right there you can switch your QD to over here I right, say so everything is really basic um, safety lever, bolt catch, I'll probably be switching that up. So this was not a blim, so I'm going to be contacting. There's like a pit here. You guys tell me what you think on that. I don't know if you guys can see it, especially with the lighting. Let me see if you guys can see right there. So right in here, it's like a pit, but when you look real f close, it looks like a crack. So I'm going to talk to Arrow about that. I mean, it's small. You could see it in person a lot better, but it's like a pit, and then it has a line. So I'm hoping that's not like some hairline crack from the forging process. I have to have them look. Tell me what you guys, am I just overthinking it? So this is a complete lower assembly. Uh, so it comes all put together for you 
I like this. I went with them, well, because like I told you in the last video, I got this on 308 sale, so it's 30.8% off. This one here. So this is their M5 strip lower uh, with the MOE grip, PRS, Gen 3, uh, adjustable stock from Magpul. The it has an M5 uh, M5. They call it M5 rifle buffer and spring, uh, which we'll be going over that as well too. We'll be. I didn't bring any tools, but we'll be looking at that. See if I can get it. So you guys can see here. This comes with, I'm here smacking everything, with the rifle buffer spring and everything and weight. So we're going to probably be changing that out as well. Uh, lower receiver, so it's a big bore receiver because we're running a 308. And it's machined, uh, says it's a custom design enhanced forging uh, machine from 7075 T6 aluminum. And uh, that it it works with all standard AR like 308 components and magazines. We'll be testing that later on. Um, they say it has upgraded features. Looks pretty standard. I mean, has the built-in guard there. I was looking at the M4 version, and I think what I like about those is they have this machined out, and it's a little bit more square. Uh, but we'll be doing some upgrades and You know what I like is that it comes with the threaded like bolt like roll pins They're not just regular roll pins that hold this together uh, integrated trigger guard I will be working with that tension screw to um, Tighten the upper which is really cool gives you you know more stable platform And I did get the matching uppers as you guys seen from our last video so that's our setup right there and I went with the matching top just for just so I didn't have to worry about everything working together and the sale was good they say it has an increased mag flare magwell flare so tell us what you guys think we got some more parts coming in and if there's uh, anything you guys think we should add or do to this build put uh, your comments down below and like always till next time give us those thumbs up and like we've been growing this channel um, slowly you know but steady and all through you guys' help I'm gonna be honest right now I'm kind of gum poor uh, because I live in Colorado and Colorado is gonna be trying to pass this unconstitutional uh, quote-unquote assault rifle ban and it's complete other crap. So I had to get these before that kicks in. And unfortunately, we got to do what we got to do. Hopefully, this year things will change. And uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. So, until next time.